Hello there, everyone, and we are back with my mini series of Counting Down to the Final Fantasy VII Remake. And now we are at 11 days and 21 hours, which is mind blowing because, oh my god, this game is coming in less than two weeks now. In a couple days, we will be in the single digit numbers of days. And that's hard to believe, but at the same time, it's finally going to be here soon. I mainly wanted to talk about the recent news that's been coming up with this game. Well, not really like news, but more like something big happened recently. It's not a good thing, but it's a big thing, and I felt like I should talk about it in the second episode of this mini-series, whatever. Apparently, somebody got hold of four copies of the physical deluxe game, or was it the first class? Is it is the first class the one that they got a hold of? The, the physical deluxe, not, not the digital. Nobody's gotten the digital release of it yet. But somebody, either they stole these copies or they somehow got them early. I don't know all the facts around that. But I'm just guessing that they stole them because that's what's going around right now. Is that they stole these copies or something? I don't know. But it was the physical deluxe first class. Not the first class, because I don't think it was the first class. I'm not sure. But it was a physical deluxe version. It had the... I think it had the Steelbook cover. I don't remember. But anyways, enough about which version it was. It was the deluxe digital... Or not digital. Physical! I'm sorry. I, I know what I'm talking about, I swear. But they had four copies in the picture that I saw. And... It's just, they said, oh, we're not gonna, I'm not gonna be leaking any of this game, I promise, but that does not mean whoever has the other three copies is going to leak them or, or not, because I don't think that one person is going to keep four copies of the game to themselves. I'm sure those other three went to other people, and we don't know if they're going to leak anything or not. So please, please be cautious when going on the internet through the Final Fantasy VII Remake tags or when looking stuff up for this game because somebody, one of those three or four people, might be posting leaked content and major, major spoilers. And I don't want to hear people saying, oh, it's a 20-year-old game, you can't spoil it. The remake has tons of new content that none of us have seen before. Midgar has been fleshed out, the story has been expanded, there's tons of new side quests that were not in the original game. You've got tons of new characters in this remake that you have not seen in the original game. So do not tell me that you cannot spoil the remake because you can spoil the remake. Because there's tons of crap in this game we have not seen and it can be spoiled so I will not be taught I will not be posting about any leaks on this channel or on any of my social media I will not be spreading that I know before in one of my grind videos I talked about like the leaked data mine stuff and I know I was conflicting with my opinions like I was not supportive of the leaks but I did go look at them what I was meaning was I was not going to be talking about the leaks openly and I was not going to spread those like wildfire but I looked at them privately and I shared them with like a couple friends like I said but that's it I was not going to spread those leaks I was not happy about the leaks but the curiosity got the best of me and I gave in. So that's how to describe that. That's best as I can describe it. My curiosity got to me and I went to go look. I have not looked at them since though. I have been avoiding leaks since then and I continue to avoid them, especially now that we're 11 days from the game and I want to experience everything else firsthand unless Square releases another trailer, releases more information. The only stuff I will go looking for is stuff that Square has officially put out there. That is all I will go look for from here on out. No more leaked content. 
I'm not going to look for any more leaks. But if you guys, you know, if some of you want to go look for some leaks, then, you know, I'm just not going to be... I will... I will kind of talk about, like, how people shouldn't, you know, be doing this and whatnot. And this is all I'm going to be saying about the leaks from here on out. Just letting you guys know I'm putting this out as a warning. Someone has physical copies on hand. They might leak stuff. So be wary of what you see on the internet. Especially in the Reddit group. But they do label that one thread on Reddit that's for the leaks. So that's obviously a major warning right there. Anyways, so that's basically all I have to talk about. Oh, wait, no. That's not all I have to talk about. I have another big piece of news that's actually good and not bad. This is what I've been wanting for like months now and they finally gave it to us. They gave us the rest of the English voice cast and I will put an image up of the voice cast at probably, I might link to it in the description if I can't get it up on this video, but um, I will break this somewhere like right about here. with the list of the voice cast. They are amazing. Some of them I have not heard of before. And no, you guys, it is not Mark Hamill voicing Don Corneo. Actually, the guy that's voicing Don Corneo also voiced Laws in Advent Children, which I find interesting. I did not think that was him at all. I wasn't expecting that to be him because he does not sound like Laws as Don Corneo, in my opinion. Maybe I'm not paying close enough attention, but that is the voice of Laws from Advent Children. That, that's confirmed. So I'm kind of excited that we got someone from Advent Children to do a voice in the remake, just not as Laws, obviously, because Laws is not in the original game. Anyways, so uh, I am really excited for this voice cast. Um, I love who I have seen on the list, even if I didn't know about them before. Uh, I do approve of the guy doing Reno, although he hasn't done much other voice work. But I have started watching Konosuba because he does Kazuma in that series. And he does a really good job as him, from what I've heard so far. So I'm really optimistic about him, and I welcome him as Reno, and hopefully someday I get to meet him. I was kind of sad because I had speculations on Reno's voice, but I was wrong, obviously. I, I'm not going to say who I originally thought it was because I don't, I just, you know, it was a stupid speculation. And, but it's okay, we, I mean, a lot of people thought Mark Hamill was doing Don Corneo and they were wrong. So like, it's okay to have speculations and be wrong about them, but anyways. So, yeah, I almost forgot about that big piece of news, like, hello. So, I'm super excited that we got to find out who the cast was. Um, the voice actor for Roche is super nice. I've been talking with him on Twitter, and he's just, he's a great guy, and I love him so much now. And I think I might love Roche a little bit more, and I'm more excited to find out about this character, because he's totally new, and I'm just really excited, so. And, yeah. Also, I love who's voicing Red 13 because, you know, I've heard him on Miraculous Ladybug as Plague, and it's Max Middleman, and I love him. I saw him at SAC Anime, too, a couple months ago, and so I'm really excited for him, and I was so excited to see that he was doing a voice because I do love him, and I, I can't believe he goes from Plague to Red 13. They both sound completely different. He's got such great talent, and I'm just so amazed. So anyways, I think I will stop this here now because I don't think there's anything else to really talk about as far as the remake goes, except it's getting closer. I wonder if we'll get one last trailer till then. Probably not. We've gotten a lot of them already. We are probably likely going to get more Inside Final Fantasy episodes. Uh, hopefully soon we get episode 3 for that. So I'm really excited and... Yeah, so thank you all for tuning in to this. 
and I am so thankful I get to share this stuff with you guys. And I am excited to finally play this game soon in less than two weeks. I will be back with episode three probably in a few more days. Especially if we get more like news stuff on this game. Otherwise I won't have anything to really talk about. Uh, yeah. So, I think that's it. If I forgot anything, I can just bring it up in episode 3. So, thank you guys for joining me. We're almost there. So, I will see you guys later. Take care.